What's in the box? What's in the box? Ooh, a mystery art supply box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. What is it? <gasps> it's art supplies, of course. I'm so cringe, why do I do this? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am opening up and using some brand new art supplies sent to me by Art Shed Online. The guys over at Art Shed were kind enough to send me some art supplies for free to test out on this channel and I am very very excited because there's a bunch of stuff in here that I have been wanting to use for quite a while. Now I just want to say that these guys aren't paying me to say anything, they literally just sent me the art supplies so that I could use it for my own purposes and to give my professional opinion. Now I have been buying from Art Shed for a many number of years now online. They're actually a small art supply store located in Australia. So if you're an Aussie artist and you want to find some awesome supplies, please go check them out. The products are very, very well packaged and protected and shipping is so fast if you are buying from Australia. I do get a bunch of Aussie artists uh, messaging me on uh, social media asking where I can get some good art supplies in Australia and uh, yeah, this is one of the places I recommend. So what art supplies are we using? So we have a few Montemart brand art supplies here, which is awesome. We have their graphic fine liners, their art uh, jewel tip markers and fabric paint, as well as the Art Spectrum bleed proof paper pad. So let's get these markers out. I have been really excited to try these. I've seen these multiple times in stores before and they look like a really nice alternative to Copic markers. They are a fraction of the price and I'm hoping that they are just as good in quality. As you can see, they have a bullet nib and a chisel nib, which is pretty good for art. I would have wished that they had a, a brush nib on there, but that's fine because these are pretty affordable. And checking out the graphic fine liners, these look amazing. These look pretty good quality. I would say probably on par with the non-refillable kind of the Copic multi-liner in build quality anyways. Let's see if they uh, match up when I make some artwork. So now it's swatching time. As you guys know, I love to swatch my art supplies when I'm trying out something new. It's a really good way for me to get a feel of the art supplies before going in with a more detailed piece. I'm basically just seeing how the ink flows on the paper and uh, all of the different thicknesses of the pens and seeing how that brush pen works as well. The size these guys come in is actually a good range of sizes from 0.05 millimeters to 0.1, 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and then uh, one millimeter, and then we have a lovely little brush pen as well. Now just testing out these dual tip art markers and they feel pretty good actually. Uh, the barrels do feel really nice in my hand, nice and comfortable, and uh, they feel really nice and juicy down on the paper as well. So I'm gonna give that to them. And the colors look fantastic as well. And as you can see with this bleed proof paper pad, it didn't bleed through. So the paper did the thing it's supposed to be, yay. So now let's test these art supplies out in an illustration just to see how they hold up. I'm going to be drawing a dragon because you guys know I'm a huge dragon nerd. I love dragons, they are my favorite mythical creature. And yeah, let's dive into that.
So I've got a nice cool dragon here all sketched up and it's time to test out these fine liners. Now when looking at fine liners there's a few things that I find really important and the main thing is are they Copic proof or you know alcohol proof. Now since these are made by the same company and made to go along with these jewel tip art markers I'm really hoping that they hold up to that because otherwise why would you use them? Other than this, I'm looking at how smooth they go down on the paper. I feel like I want a nice smooth uh, application of these. I don't want it to feel too scratchy or anything like that because it just uh, ruins my workflow and uh, it doesn't feel nice. I like my inking pens to feel really nice when I'm, you know, inking. Otherwise it sort of pulls me out of it and it's not as enjoyable. Another thing I'm looking at is if these fine liners spread too much on the paper. When they're really, you know, fine liners, you don't want them to sort of spread out and go thicker, you want them to stay fine. And overall with these graphic fine liners, pretty good actually. I find that they are very comfortable to hold in the hand, they go down really nice and smooth and they don't really spread too much on the paper either so I can get some really nice fine little details especially with that really teeny tiny um, fine liner. And I have to say they look pretty good and feel quite similar to the Copic multi liners as well so I'm absolutely thrilled because these are a fraction of the price and yet they work just the same and as for the copic proofness or the alcohol proof uh actually pretty good i was kind of expecting them to spread or smudge just a little bit at least but i feel like they held up very 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 well as you can see with my little color comps here it's sort of a test of the colors that i'm going to use in the art supply but uh also to see if they will smudge and no they did not smudge with the uh pens so that is amazing. So now I'm colouring up this bad boy and I'm also uh, paying attention to the paper as well because I don't often use bleed proof paper. I often find that uh, I prefer a different kind of paper to this paper mainly because uh, you can't layer as much on bleed proof papers because it obviously doesn't absorb the ink. But I've never actually used this brand of bleed proof paper. So we're going to be nice and we're going to see if it is a good match. Overall my first impressions are pretty good. Other than the paper being very thin and me accidentally scrunching it a few times while erasing. Uh, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> the paper is actually a really nice feel. It's nice and smooth but it doesn't have a sort of slight glossy look to it that other bleed proof papers have. This one does look pretty matte so there's no glare which I love. And I did test with that bone colour on these wings to see how much I could layer over the top and uh, until it sort of gets that weird sticky feeling. And overall, like, I did a lot of layers on those wings to try and build up the depth and colour and shape of those wings and the paper took it very, very well. I did many layers on that and it didn't bleed through or anything like that and uh, it didn't get that sort of weird sticky feeling that some bleed proof papers have. So if bleed proof paper is your thing and you like that kind of paper, I definitely recommend the Art Spectrum bleed proof paper because it feels a bit more better quality than others. Now as for the colour palette of this dragon, it's definitely kind of interesting. As you can see, there's a lot of pink and a lot of beige and I didn't realise at the time until later that it kind of looks like a, a plucked chicken or something like that. So to try and combat that, I started layering other colours over the top of the pink in a sort of speckly pattern. I imagined that it would be like a kind of like scales or different colored dots all over this dragon to, to add a little bit of interest and uh, you know stray away from the look of a plucked chicken. I was a little bit limited in the color choices that I had so I had to get a little bit creative. I couldn't do a whole lot of you know different tones of one color like a whole bunch of reds or browns or something like that so I had to pick colors that sort of match together like the pink and then the reds and then later I put a bit of purple in there and then it kind of went a little bit rainbow at that too because I ended up adding a bit of blue and yellow and purple and it was at this point that I realized what this dragon looked like unintentionally I had made this dragon into an Arnott's 100,000 cookie dragon. <laughs> 
with the pink and then the rainbow dots and then that sort of beigey color as well that's exactly what he looks like so i guess that's what he is but yeah here's the final results and i love this drawing it's kind of interesting but i still love it and it was a blast to use these art supplies too i had a lot of fun testing them out and uh, yeah i really like them so if you're in australia and you're looking out for an art supply store that you can buy from online or in store definitely check out art shed online because they are fantastic they package their stuff very well it's very well protected and uh, fast shipping and all of that so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please smash like and subscribe to get your screw fix and uh, comment below what is your favorite cookie and until next time i will see you in my next video bye everyone